The Song of Deborah, based on Judges chapters 4 and 5. After Joshua dies, the people build up strong cities and choose judges to rule over them. But through the years, many people forget God and begin to worship idols. So God allows them to be conquered. The people turn to God for a short time. For years, they go back and forth with this pattern. Eventually, they become so weak and afraid, they can't even protect their own fields from Canaanite rulers. Stop! That's my grain! It's ours now. What are you going to do about it? Years ago, our great leader Joshua conquered the Canaanites. Now they are conquering us. What's the matter with our leaders? We'll starve if King Jabin's men keep stealing our grain. The Canaanites raid one field after another. Finally, the Israelite farmers have a meeting. We have to do something to stop these Canaanites. <sighs> Let's go see Deborah, the prophetess and judge. The angry farmers take their story to Deborah, who holds cord under a palm tree in Ephraim. What can we do? The Canaanites are stealing our food. Take a message to Captain Barak in the North Country. Tell him to come at once. Does she mean war? We don't have a chance against the Canaanites. They have 900 iron chariots, and we have only a few crude weapons. A few days later... Barak, this is the plan God gave me. Take 10,000 men to Mount Tabor. When King Jabin hears of this, he will order his army under Sisera to come out and destroy us. But with God's help, you will defeat them. I'll lead the army, but only if you go with us. God speaks through you, and if you are there, I know God will help us. I am sorry that you lack the faith to lead by yourself. Very well, I will go with you. But since you need a woman to help you fight your battles, a woman will win your battle for you as well. After a quick march, the Israelites reach Mount Tabor. Deborah's prophecy comes true. The Canaanite army comes to meet them. Have faith! This is the day the Lord will deliver us! Deborah gives the signal, and Barak charges down the mountain leading his troops. Above them, lightning flashes. A cloudburst turns the plain into a sea of mud. The iron chariots of the Canaanites sink into the mire. Trapped, they are at the mercy of the Israelites, who attack with speed and courage. To the river! The Canaanites try to retreat, but the Kishon River is already overflowing its banks. Canaanites who try to swim to safety sink under the weight of their heavy armor. Sisera tries to escape. On the way, he stops to rest in a tent that he thinks is friendly. But the woman who lives there, Jael, is loyal to Israel and kills Sisera while he is asleep. When Deborah learns that the Canaanites have been defeated, she sings a song of victory. In the heavens, even the stars fight for the Lord. May all the Lord's enemies perish, and may those who love the Lord be like the sun shining in all its might. The people rejoice and sing praises too, and for 40 years there is peace in Israel. Families work in their fields and harvest their crops, but in time they again forget God find themselves in more trouble than ever before. <laughs>